It's time for Keeping Fit with Susan, with your hostess, Susan Markowitz. Hello, and welcome back to Keeping Fit. This week, we have a real nice show lined up for you. First of all, we'll be speaking with Mr. Harry Haskell, Jr., who's going to share with us a lot of information about a program called Life Be In It. Then we'll be speaking with Mr. Richard Stengel and Adam Lieb, a skater, both from the Skating Club of Wilmington. Once we get through those interviews, it's you and I and lots and lots of exercise, which is a real nice thing, especially after the holidays. So don't go away. We'll be right back. I'm speaking with Rick Stengel and Adam Lieb. Adam Lieb is a senior men's single competitor, and he's skating out of the Skating Club of Wilmington. Richard Stengel, who's with me, he's the program director for the Skating Club of Wilmington. And I think what we'll start with first is talk about the type of programs that you run at the Skating Club. Uh, basically, I run the open skating programs, which are uh, programs of, uh, for uh, public skaters uh, uh, they're not really public because it's a private club and there's a small membership fee for everyone who skates there. Uh, but the fees are small and uh, they can skate on weekends, on the uh, evenings and the afternoons, and people will come with their families and enjoy ice skating in a recreational uh, sort of way. So this is just what, open skating? You just come and skate around the rink? That's right. And we have music and we try to create a very nice environment and we have uh, lighting effects uh, in the evenings and as it gets dark and uh, we also have group lessons for people who would like to learn how to skate. Oh really? I'd, I'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> tell us, um, tell the viewers how the skate, skating rink is practically used 24 hours a day. Well, uh, there are a, uh, a large variety of uh, skaters there. We have uh, top, some top level competitors, a, a, a number of those. Adam for example. Adam mm -hmm. for example. and. Uh, we have uh, recreational skaters, people who just like to come out and skate just to stay fit and to enjoy ice skating and to be with their families. And uh, we have uh, adult ice dancers, a, a fairly large contingent of them, and uh, they enjoy dancing to music with one another, and that's a social activity. For um, those that may not know where you're located, why don't you tell us? Well, we're located uh, uh, basically at the intersection of I-95 and 202. Very easy to get to. <laughs> that's well, it's easy to see, <laughs> but if you want to get there, you have to go north on 202 and just make three consecutive right-hand turns, a little circle, a little loop, and so it, it is easy in that respect to get to. And if they have any questions, should they just give you a call when free certainly, skating? Certainly, certainly. They can call the skating club at 656-5005. <laughs> Tell us about the big event coming up this Saturday. Yes, we have a uh, nationals exhibition, competitors exhibition, where... Uh, about 33 of our skaters who will be competing in the uh, national competition at Salt Lake City will be running through uh, their uh, programs, some of the programs that they're going to be performing at nationals competition. And uh, uh, probably uh, four, there are four of these teams who will uh, probably be in the upcoming Olympics. And so this makes it tremendously exciting to know that you're going to see skaters who will be performing and representing uh, not only the United States, but they'll be representing Wilmington in, in the Olympics. Is it correct? I've heard that about half of the Olympic skaters may be coming out of the Skating Club of Wilmington. Yes, uh, because of the training program in Wilmington, uh, the top level skaters from all of the country are attracted to train here. And so, uh, therefore, uh, when we have, uh, when the United States enters uh, international competitions, the large contingent of skaters from Wilmington represents the United States. Adam Lee, you being one of those skaters, I don't know, we talked about recreational skaters, but most people don't understand the discipline required to becoming the skater of your level. Why don't you just give us a quick rundown of the, what your day looks like? Well, there are certain sacrifices that have to be made. I mean, uh, my day starts at 5.30 in the morning and goes till 10.30. I have uh, three-hour lunch break, which I eat and sleep as quickly as possible. And then I'm back in the rink at 2 o'clock. And I'm there uh, either skating or jogging or working out some way, dancing, until 8 o'clock. 
and then I come home, take care of my apartment, make my dinner, and get ready for the next day. I'm always curious about this. I always ask athletes this question. What about diet? Do you have to watch your weight? Some people don't. I particularly have to. I'm, I have a very strict coach, and he weighs me every week. Every Friday, he has me come in, step on the scale, and says, okay, now I want you at this weight by next week. Now, I think our viewers should know that you are vying for the Olympics, and you have a big thing coming up, excuse me, a big event coming up this very shortly in Salt Lake City. Uh, uh, January 17th, uh, U.S. National Championships in Salt Lake City. And this is? It, it would be considered the Olympic uh, trials. Also, how many years have you been skating? Fifteen. You talked about, oh, you talked about sacrifices, yeah. and you really didn't expound on it. Why don't you take a little bit of time now to talk about some of those sacrifices? Well, you, you have to realize when you're growing up, there are certain things you can't do because you are so dedicated to one sport. You know, you can't have the after-school activities, the going to a friend's house, the, uh, the Saturday parties. I, I've been skating 6 o'clock in the morning for almost 15 years now. And, you know, that you have to go to sleep at a certain time. You have to be at the rink. You have to put in 100% effort. And at this point in this, your career, though, as a skater, I'm sure you'd... I'll ask it. I'll be objective. Do you regret it? No. Especially when I have friends who had that normal life and wish that they had a life like I had. When we spoke earlier, you just said everything was on hold. Yeah. Well, college for me is... It's something I really want to do. It's something my parents want me to do. It's something I, I'm going to do. It's just I have to complete my skating. I have to go as far as my ability will let me. And uh, that could take me to the Olympics. Out of curiosity, did you always, you started skating 15 years ago. What, what started it? Uh, my mother's friend's daughter. You liked her? Uh, <laughs> no, she, she just convinced my mother that it would be a good sport. Tennis wasn't popular at the time, and uh, I needed something to do, and skating just was it, and I happened to adapt very quickly. Well, thank you, Adam. Good luck with all the upcoming things. I'll keep my eyes out for you. I hope everybody else wishes you the best. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. I hope everybody looks and tries the Skating Club of Wilmington, and when we come back, lots and lots of exercise. So thanks a lot for you.